Today's episode of Our Wyoming Life is being brought to you by FBN. Farmers Business Network helps farmers and ranchers maximize their operations potential. Sign up for free today at FBN.com and take advantage of online tools during their Cyber November event. It costs you nothing and cattlemen have already saved up to 20% on feed, including minerals and lip tubs. Check it out today at FBN.com. Hi, I'm Mike. And can you believe that in this group of calves, there's one famous calf that has had over 4 million people view its birth. We're gonna meet that calf along with some other celebrity calves of the ranch as we get to preconditioning today on our Wyoming Life. Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for joining us once again as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. We're right back where we start, where we left off. Last time we are here in the corrals. Uh, last week, or uh, was it last week? Earlier this week, we actually got a chance to separate the calves from their moms. We got a chance to check out and see which moms were pregnant. In fact, those ones over there that you can see back there, those are the ones that are not pregnant. They're still held up in their little corral there. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna bring the calves through through. These are all the calves that were born this year and we're going to bring them through. We're going to take a look at them. We're going to give them some vaccinations and an ivermectin pour on uh, so that they can get through the next few months here on the ranch and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get them weaned, put some weight on them and they'll be ready to sell uh, just after the first of the year. That's kind of the hope as we sit right now but we'll see as the year moves on and uh, and the uh, how the cattle market's doing all that kind of good stuff. So that's all coming up. Uh, we're also going to take a look at a few of these calves who may have become semi-famous due to the channel. Uh, there's a few of them in here. in here. Of course, we've got Peanut and, and a cow that is actually over 4 million people have watched its birth. We're going to take a look at that calf as it comes through as well. These calves that are all over here and they're kind of spread out uh, are actually going to move through these corrals up through the tub, which is right here, down this alley into the squeeze chute uh, where we're going to do everything we need to to them and then we're just going to kick them right back out and then in the upcoming videos we'll actually be taking a look at what else we need to do with the calves as we continue on uh, through this winter this video of course being brought to you by fbn the farmers business network and they've been here to help us out and uh, we're going to show you how they save the ranch money through vaccines and their new pharmacy program as they continue through their november cyber event i'm going to put some links down in the description you can go check out fbn if you're a farmer or a rancher, they can definitely help you save money, especially this month in their cyber event uh, where some, some people are saving up to 25% on uh, different products. So be sure to check that out. It's time for us to get started here. I'm actually here all by myself. You can look around. There's nobody here with me. And I'm gonna be doing this by myself. I know that Aaron and Lincoln are inside. Uh, I think they'll probably be popping out at some point, but for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get these uh, calves moved around, get as many as we can as close to the tub as we can so that we can get them in and done. This should take only a couple hours, but uh, who knows? We've got the whole afternoon and it is pretty nice out here. The sun is shining. It's about 40 degrees here in northeast Wyoming. And uh, we've got a bunch of anxious calves, a little bit of a breeze too, but I'm not sure how long this coat is going to last today. Who knows? All righty, guys, we got to move. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. We'll get you out here as soon as we can, okay? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. Okay, so we got all the calves where we want them. They are here in these corrals leading up to the, the tub here. Some of them are actually gonna figure out how to do this here. 
pretty quick. We got a couple quick things that I want to, uh, to do. First is a quick modification uh, to these squeeze, or to these alleys, and that is this panel right here, which comes off pretty easy. We're gonna take this panel off. Which is just held on by wing nuts. We're gonna take this, these panels off, and this will give us a little bit better view uh, in here, and it'll actually give the calves a better view of us. So hopefully they'll wanna move through a little bit better. Okay, some of these are held on by nuts and some of them are held on by wing nuts. I guess the wing nut ones we can take off and then I gotta go grab a wrench really quick to take off these other ones. Okay, now, let's take a look at some vaccines. Apparently I left a gate open. These guys aren't supposed to be in here. Um, yeah, I'm guessing as long as they can't, uh, they can't leave, we're good to go. Not like they can really go anywhere. Okay, let's talk about vaccines. Uh, so we have the ivermectin, uh, which we used before. Uh, one big thing with this stuff is that you wanna make sure you get your dosage correct. So uh, we are, we're, we're about four, like I said, four or 500, four to 450 maybe uh, pound calves. So uh, at 484, we would set it on 22, 386, we'd set it on 18. So we're gonna go right in the middle. We're just gonna say 20, which is where we set this. And then that's ready to go. Over here on our table is where we get a look at our regular vaccines that we're gonna be using. Um, we're actually gonna be giving these guys three different shots today along with the Ivermec. Uh, here on our FBN package, we have our nasal gin. This is our Vision 7. And uh, this is Respi Vax 5, which is basically uh, like a Pyramid 5 with pre um, Same thing. Saved us quite a bit of money doing it this way through FBN. The amount of vaccines that were given these guys today, uh, this all came to close about $800 uh, for the vaccines in the Ivermec. So we're looking at about $8 per calf right in there. And uh, so by using FBN, we ended up saving the ranch about 12% uh, on what we normally would have paid for this stuff through the vet's office. And uh, so it works out really well for us. Uh, let's get our syringes loaded up and the wind's kicking up, but we'll get our syringes loaded up and then we'll get ready to rock and roll here. We'll start bringing in some calves. Nobody gets Dr. Pepper, that's fine. Okay, so here's another quick thing. Uh, when you're uh, cleaning your guns, uh, one thing that I do see people do is that they end up washing them and they use soap on them. Uh, if you have any type of uh, uh, anti uh, microbial soap or, or, or anything that gets rid of germs and that kind of stuff. That's actually not good because uh, some of these things like this, uh, this uh, Respi Vax 5 is actually a live vaccine. So you soap would kill it if you had a, a soap that gets rid of germs. So you wanna make sure that when you're washing this stuff, usually I just try to use uh, as, as clean of water as I can get and just give them a good scrub down to make sure that they're clean. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna load up, uh, this is our seven way um, gun. So this is our Vision 7. So we're gonna load that up. Uh, dosage here is two, two milliliters per calf. A lot of these vaccines that we're using today are actually uh, based, uh, basically a lot of it is for respiratory diseases and stuff like that. So. Uh, we want to make sure that we have as healthy calves as we can as we head into winter. We don't want anybody to get pneumonia or anything like that. So that's what a lot of this is for. <sighs> we have all of our vaccines mixed, ready to go. 
we've got Ivermic ready to go. We've got calves everywhere. And uh, now it's time to go ahead and start bringing them through and start working them one by one. And like I said, as we get some of these calves through, we'll be able to stop and take a look at them and, uh, and see if there's any calves that have issues. We'll stop and take a look at peanut and any other uh, calves that you may remember from calving season just to kind of get us reacquainted. So let me get these guys pushed back where I need them and we'll work our way around. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know Let's go. If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down comes our first celebrity calf of the day. This is number 72 coming in here. Seventy-two, if you happen to remember, is actually Bambi's calf. And uh, he looks healthy, he looks good to go, and looks a lot different from when last time we saw him. comes our next celebrity, not too far behind, in the next group of calves. This little guy, we were actually pretty dang worried about. But luckily, he seems to be doing pretty good. Let's take a look at him. This is number 79 but you probably know him better as the calf with a broken leg. 
You can see that leg, yeah, that leg's just dangling there. See how that's, that's just dangling. So we are going to scoop him up and bring him with us. He shouldn't be too hard to catch. The big problem is that we gotta watch out for mom. Be surprised how fast they can move. Hey. You're okay. So this is just 24 hours later, but <laughs> okay. So maybe mom's not as happy as I thought she would be with me. This calf and his mom did not like me at all, but he got a very nice little ride in the back of our Yukon to go see the vet and find out that he had a broken leg and there was nothing we could do about it. Everybody was worried about how well he would do after it healed and how well he would walk. So to give you guys a really good indication of how well he can walk and how well he's doing, we're gonna put the camera out here and we're gonna watch him as he comes out of the chute. Go ahead, bud. Here he comes. That's our calf with a broken leg. He doesn't seem to have any trouble walking. All right, let's look for another celebrity coming up in our row of calves. So there's always gotta be the one, the clown. It has to go in backwards. That's okay though. We're just gonna get done what we can get done in here. Hold still for just a second. One more. Look at that, we're all done. Now we just gotta get you out of here. Open up everything wide. Okay, go on back. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Good girl. All right, time for our next contestant on the hit parade of golden oldies going on here today. And today, well, this time, we have a little one, a little girl that we like to call. Faith. Faith was the very first calf born on the ranch this year. We had the luck of finding her behind a windbreak this last winter. Work every day. Come on, kid. There you go. Little Miss Faith. Come on. Come on. Come on, get out. 
All right, last calf of this group. It, it, it's, it's actually very cool uh, that I get to introduce you to this calf. Now this calf uh, is the most famous calf on the ranch. Uh, but oddly enough, a lot of you guys had probably ever, never ever seen him. And uh, why that is, is because he's famous on Facebook. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook, you you may have seen him there. But uh, this little guy, number 38, <laughs> this little guy was born on Facebook. And to date, more than 4 million people have watched that birth. Let's bring him in. Come on, kiddo. There you go. A little bit further. There we go. Good job. This little cutie does not have a name other than 38, but he definitely has a story. And he has no idea how famous he really is. Mr. 38, we're gonna let you out of here so that you can go back to your adoring fans. See you later, bud. Come on, kiddo. Come on. Another well-known calf here on the ranch and the last uh, celebrity for the day, I guess, is Peanut, number 64. Peanut, of course, uh, one of our bottle calves and probably not gonna give me too much trouble here if I wanna do this stuff to him here. Come here, bud. Do I have to put you in the head chute? There, you smell that. There you go, good job. Oh, don't eat it. How about a couple quick shots and then we'll talk about, talk about you, okay? Can you move forward just a little bit? There we go, good boy. There we go. What a good boy you are. Yes, you are. All right, this is Peanut and uh, Peanut's been on the ranch here since the very beginning, obviously. And uh, now is, uh, <laughs> we might as well let him out. Now is our bottle calf, who's now heading back out to hang out with his friends and be a big kid. We've got just a couple more left to go here. We're gonna wrap this up in just a few minutes, so stick around. Uh, let's just bust out the rest of these. We've got about uh, 15 left or so. And while it may be the very last one of the day, obviously these calves are gonna be here on the ranch for quite a while. Uh, coming up in our next video, I'm gonna actually show you what we're gonna do with these guys next, and that is get them out of where they're at now. Uh, not the head shoot, but uh, get them out of the corral they're in now and get them more uh, on pasture. And we'll be doing that uh, next time here on Our Wyoming Life. Thank you for coming along with us. I really do appreciate it. Vaccinations, expensive, yes. Uh, but with the help of uh, companies like FBN, uh, you're able to cut down on that cost. Go to FBN.com, check down there in the links, uh, or in the description, I've got a few more links for you to go and check out, uh, taking you to livestock pages and the pharmacy pages where you can compare uh, the prices of your pharmacy 
pharmacy pharmaceuticals uh, as compared to their prices, and I guarantee you you're going to save money. We saved about 12% uh, just today uh, with these with these uh, vaccines that uh, we got through FBN. So thank them very much for uh, for sponsoring the channel. Be sure to thank FBN down below if you don't mind, because it's it's because of companies like them that farmers and ranchers are going to be able to succeed in the future, as uh, as we don't know what we're looking at, but uh, with their help, uh, the future looks a little bit brighter. Thank you very much, guys. We do appreciate it. Come back and join us on Tuesday, our live stream on Sunday uh, on the Beyond the Ranch channel. I invite you to that as well. We'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming life. You ready to go? Can we call it a day? Let's go. I'm right behind you. Beer 30.